This method is actually proven and tried and true by millionaires everywhere. Once I did this, my goals just started happening. And this is why millions of people everywhere give up on their New Year's resolutions by February 1st. And I know in 2024, you don't wanna be one of those February 1st people. We're gonna make 2024 the greatest year you've ever walked through, okay? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie Lynn. I am an actor in the greater Atlanta area and I like to define myself as a big dreamer. Me and my husband have chose the dreamer life and it is exciting and it is actually very, very hard. But I also like to consider myself a professional encourager. That is one of my dreams, is to eventually be a public speaker and speak to crowds and encourage them and in many different ways. And when it comes around to January, it's my favorite time of year. And I love how everyone is so full of hope and drive and discipline. And by February, like all of that is gone and it makes me so sad. So I wanted to take a time because I have walked through it so much myself. I've given up on my dreams. I've been like, yes, this is what I'm gonna do this year. And then it's just so overwhelming and I, I fail and I give up and I'm frustrated and why does this happen every single year and I'm like there's probably a bunch of other people that are in my same boat. Today we're gonna walk through mistakes people make in their New Year's goals. We're gonna give you tips, we're gonna give you tools, encouragements and maybe even some tough love at the end okay. Together through this year you and I are gonna reach our 2024 goals and we're starting with this video okay so make sure you watch it all the way through. Take notes I've got a lot of good stuff coming for you. Let's begin with the three mistakes people make that lead them to giving up on their goals. Number one, they feel they have to do it every single day. Now consistency in your goals does not mean perfection. Everybody puts these big pressures on themselves in January of like, oh, I'm gonna lose that 20 pounds and I'm gonna get to the gym every single day. And then there's one day where you're not feeling well or it gets busy and you don't hit the gym. And then the next day, you do it again and you go, well, I tried, you know, and I, I didn't hit it every single day, so I'm just gonna give up. Consistency does not mean perfection. Consistency can look like this, hitting it every single day. Consistency can also look like this. You're still moving forward, you're still getting back up, and that's what's important. This guy's my buddy. This is how I work in creating new habits and trying to achieve my goals. I may miss five days in a row. That does not mean that I have failed on my New Year's resolution list. As long as I pick it back up again and keep going, check off another box. Even if you give it up for two months and you get back up, that's still consistency. Second mistake people make in New Year's resolutions is they make these giant extensive lists. Now let me show you this. This is my vision board for my entire life. Your 2024 goals should not look like this. You wanna start simple. Do not put, again, this giant block of pressure on you. You pick three little ones to hit, and guess what? If you hit those, you get to continue to move on, and what's the next step of those goals? But do not make the giant extensive list because it becomes overwhelming too. If you're looking at it all, then you're sitting there and going, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to accomplish all of this? And then you feel frozen. There's so much to do that I'm just gonna not do it. You give up. The third mistake people make in starting New Year's goals is they don't do it when they don't feel like it. Here's the problem with that. If I followed my feelings every single time, then I would never accomplish my goals. I might as well just throw it out and just be one of those February 1st people. Reaching your goals is all about doing it even when you don't feel like it. Picking up that book and reading a page, even if you've had the worst day, going to the gym, even if you've had the worst sleep, because what we're doing is we're not serving ourselves right now because we probably want to take a nap and do nothing, but we're serving our future selves. Our future selves will thank us for it. And that's what makes consistency, is doing it even when you don't feel like it, even on your worst days. Pretend you have that responsibility down there. I'm pretending I have this kind of responsibility when I'm getting up and doing an audition or writing a screenplay or whatever. I'm pretending that I am this person already and I've got people counting on me and I can't let them down. So I'm gonna do it even if I don't feel like it. Here are three tips to help you reach your 2024 goals. Number one, make three goals in three small categories. 
ditch the extensive list, the bucket list, the whatever. Once you hit those, you can move on to bigger and better ones. Do not put pressure on yourselves now. Tip number two is something that I have learned from millionaires, that this is a tried and true practice that they do and they use to succeed in their businesses and bring in millions of dollars. And that is to divide your goals into quarters instead of years. If you divide your goals into quarters instead of an entire year, you get a lot more done. If I said for 2024, I want to get into the habit of reading, okay, then I've got 12 months. I've got 12 months to figure it out, okay? I don't, I don't need to worry about it right now. I'll get to it. Okay, I've got time. If your year is three months, no, you don't. So that's my tip number two. Divide your year into quarters. Your year is three months long. What are some small steps that you can take in those three months? Tip number three, affirmations. Affirmations are just declaring who you are and what the type of person that you are going to be. And again, this is a tried and true thing from billionaires and millionaires. Did you know that the way that you think creates pathways in your brain? If you were to think, I am a piece of crap. I'm a piece of crap. And you say that to yourself every single day, you are creating a pathway in your brain and it is getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper every time you say it. Now, when you say an affirmation, like I am a talented human being, what you do is you, you change that direction that that pathway is going. Now you may stumble back into what you're used to, but when you say it out loud, you're convincing your brain to make that pathway. That's why affirmations are so important. If you are doing them every single day and declaring who you are, what the type of person that you want to be now, you are creating those pathways in your brain. Affirmations work because you actually end up believing them and walking in them and being confident. That's a huge tool to help achieve your dreams. It's basically like having your own cheerleader squad in your brain. You're better supported to achieve those goals. There are two books in my um, storefront down below, Atomic Habits and Miracle Morning that all talk about ways to do these affirmations. Let's talk about some tools to help you accomplish these 2024 goals because they're gonna happen, baby. Now, I've created a special Amazon storefront list of tools um, linked down below to help you accomplish your 2024 goals. Some of them are fitness related, health related, just planning and dream related, affirmations, books, if you want to stop being a people pleaser, just so many different things. So go check it out down below if you want to accomplish your 2024 goals. I'm going to highlight one right here that's my favorite. Now, planners I know can have a stigma of those February 1st people that give it up, that you get a new planner and you go for it and then blah, 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 blah. But we're not going to do that because we've got tips and we know the mistakes and stuff. This is actually an incredible, incredible tool. I've linked the Bloom Planner. That's what this is. Um, and I'm just gonna show you some of the incredible things that it has. Letter to yourself that you get to read at the end of the year. Great where you are right now in your personal growth, your relationships. But what's great is that they have this at the end so you can see how much you've grown. I'd circle values for the year. What's in, what's out, more, less of. This is my favorite one. When I'm having a hard day, especially with someone who struggles with mental health, I can refer to this. These are I love myself statements. I feel best when, what am I, what are things that bring me joy that I can do? And there's more. You can cast this year's visions. You can give simple goals for the year. This is all ways that you can encourage yourself and and plan out your week. There's monthly spending, there's habit tracking, but to, to be able to have something that you can help visualize and draw yourself to your dream, I highly recommend. Tool number two is the breakdown. This is a very simple way. If dreaming is hard for you and you don't know how to pull yourself out like that, here's a breakdown. You're gonna just say, this is my dream. I want to run a marathon, okay. Then you're going to turn your dream into goals. Okay, what are the goals that I have to hit? A 5K, a 10K, all those different things. And then you're gonna do it, turn 
turn those goals into steps. Okay, that means that three times a week I need to be walking or need to be running or whatever. And then, it, guys, it's one step at a time. It's one step at a time. What's the 1% better that you can get every single day in order to reach your goals? That's how simple it is. We always want to just reach the goal immediately, but it is about all the small steps. Tool number three is a practice that I have done probably every year since 2018. I will learned it from a book called The Circle Maker. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into a quiet room. You're gonna have a blank piece of paper and a pen. You are gonna go ham on it, writing dreams writing this would be so fun to do in my life you're going to not be restricted by age location money gender anything if you want to become a unicorn write it down and be ridiculous the whole point is to take all the restrictions all the things that society says that you are all the the false beliefs that we say about each other and we're melting them and we're just going ham okay and you're gonna write them all down. What I have found in this practice is stuff pouring out of me that I had no idea were inside of me. I'm an actor now because of this practice. Tool number four, a vision board, guys. Go find things on the internet, pictures that you can put up in your, in your house and you're in your little corner, your little nook, okay? We've got everything from my body is strong, I will crush pregnancy and bring life to many little ones. I'm doing that right now. To uh, we're gonna hike, we're gonna run, I'm gonna speak, a blog. Now this is life, this is life. And you know what, I've already accomplished one of them. This one over here, I will bring life and joy on the Ellen DeGeneres show. I did, it was super fun. This is a great way to visualize and remind yourself even on the hardest days when you give up. This is what I'm aiming for. I'm not putting pressure on myself now, but I'm visualizing it. I'm looking at these things every single day. It is such an amazing tool for me to have as I'm sitting here doing the mundane little 1% stuff. I go, why am I doing this again? This is the, this is the life that I want. I highly recommend. It's also so fun to do. A little crafty craft. The final tool I have for you is YouTube. There are thousands of teachers and educators and content creators that are using their YouTube platform to teach the very thing that you wanna become good at. And it's all free. They get money through their ads and their subscribers, so make sure you're, you're liking, you're subscribing, you're treating them well for the things that they're pouring into you. But go on YouTube, go find someone who's teaching on the thing that you want to accomplish. Now we are gonna end our time here with some encouragement because some of you have got those lies, those false beliefs that you have in your head of you and they're attached to yourself and we're gonna shoot them back to hell right now, okay? You were not meant to just work a job, pay bills and die. Your life is meant for big things, it is meant to, to love people and to, to chase your dreams and to inspire people and to live out loud, not live out loud, not just survive. You're also not too young. You're also not too old. You can start late, figure it out along the way, stumble and still accomplish your dreams. Now, I don't know how many of you believe in God, but for me, my dreams all come from dozing off in prayer. Whenever I found myself in prayer, I'm going, you know, I'm keeping it so simple. Thank you, God, for this day. Bless this food, blah, blah, blah. And my mind starts to wander to these creative dreams. And I go, oh, and I come back and go, oh, sorry, God. And I'm like, yeah, yes, thank you for um, giving me a good day. And God is like, what in the heck? Like, I'm trying to pull you out of yourself. I'm trying to pull you out of your comfort zone, pull you out of your box, pull you out of the box you put me in. This is what I want for you. This is how I've created you. Let those things happen. Maybe it's the universe. Maybe you're staring out a, a window. Let your mind just wander. Where does it go? Let 2024 be the year that you say yes to those things. Start small, walk around the block, reading one page, then build on it. Grace, grace, if you remember consistency, okay? If you don't do it for a certain amount of time, even if it's been years, the fact that you pick it back up, you're still accomplishing your goals, grace. Hitting goals is about consistency no matter what it looks like. You are the type of person that gets back up no matter how long it's been. And now for some tough love. First, go follow the tough love coach on Instagram. 
She is an incredible life coach that I used a few years ago. I invested in myself because I just got sick. I got sick of being stuck in the same fear cycle and the same just failure cycle and just never believing in myself and never actually taking action and just talking about it and dreaming about it but never actually acting on it. And she helped me break through those things. One thing I've learned from her is failure is your best friend. The person that you wanna be is on the other side of your fear of failure. You cannot accomplish your goals without failure, which sucks because it's you feel embarrassed, you, you feel like people are judging you. Who the freak cares? You could live a life of your dreams if you're uncomfortable for a moment. I feel like I'm preaching to myself here. Oh, if you look back on my YouTube channel, there are some very cringy, awkward videos, bad editing, bad sound, just not entertaining content, like, but I decided to still put it out and to still act and learn and, and, and get feedback. It is all about the 1%, okay? You cannot jump all of a sudden. Yes, sometimes luck happens. And those things happen for people and we're happy for them. But 99.99% of time in order to accomplish your goals, you are doing 1%. So if right now you've got a very, very big dream, what is one small little thing, even if it's getting out of bed, that is 1% better. Even if it is walking outside, that is 1% better. Even if it's driving to the gym, not even working out, just driving to the gym, that is 1% better. Stop making excuses to declare who you are. This is what affirmations are for. This is the type of person I am. You will hear lies that come to you. Guess what? You are the absolute opposite of those things. It's basically like the lies of society, the lies of the enemy, if they're hitting you, they're letting you know who you are. Take the opposite, that's who you are. All in all, I'm excited for 2024 goals. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna fail together. We're gonna have people judge us together. We're gonna feel like imposter syndrome together, but we're gonna declare who we are. We're gonna chase after our dreams. We've got tools. We know what mistakes are. We know what our small little steps are, our 1%. We're, gonna, we're the type of people that get back up Okay, 2024 is going to be an incredible year and I cannot wait to be at the end in December of 2024 with you and talking about all that we accomplished. Thank you for joining me here today on Jamie Lynn Joy YouTube. I have loved encouraging you and talking about our dreams. If you've liked this content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff, if you need more encouragement. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next video.